Welcome to CES 2022. Um, I'm Lars Burid, Product Marketing Manager here at Qualcomm, uh, covering GNSS and, and positioning solutions that we bring to the automotive market. Uh, we cover a lot of different applications. Our GNSS receiver is integrated into the modem. Uh, with that, we had the advantage of also being able to get information from the cloud to augment our positioning solutions. It includes uh, corrections. We can get map data downloaded and we can also crowdsource data and bring it up to the cloud. Um, and what you see on the slide here is uh, what we can see in the environment, how we can leverage that. We, using camera vision, using perception, we can identify objects in the environment and bring up to the cloud with accurate positioning. I'm going to pause here a little bit so we can talk about uh, the different aspects of, of positioning. One is to get more and more accurate positioning, going from meter level, road level type of accuracy, which we can get with single frequency GNSS. That's where we are today. Now, in the future, we're getting multi-frequency GNSS. We're getting down to meter level type of accuracy, sub-meter accuracy. But for autonomous driving, if we want to get down to centimeter or decimeter accuracy, we need correction services. So that's in the open sky. Now, as we go into more challenging environments, we have not perfect GNSS reception. So there we have Qualcomm Dead Reckoning as one tool in our toolbox. And for our ultimate positioning solution, we have vision enhanced precise positioning. And we'll talk more about that later. So this is a video from downtown New York. And you can imagine New York is a challenging environment to, to position yourself in. So uh, we are using not only inertial sensors, uh, in, information from the vehicle and GNSS, we also take advantage of cameras, either front-facing or rear-facing. And we try to identify stationary objects, features, we don't care what they are, that we can reference, and then use those reference points frame to frame to minimize any drift in positioning. If you look at this, the, the red, the differential GPS, is unfiltered GPS, and it bounces all over the place. We have 10, maybe up to 100 meters of error. Now, with VPP, we are down at meter level accuracy in this challenging environment. We have a $100,000 ground truth system as a reference, and we're right on top of it. So just by adding the camera and the inertia sensors, we can navigate almost as well as this very expensive ground truth system. So take a, let's take a look um, here on the, on the screen. So you can see the in-cabin view, and you see all the features that we're capturing in green and yellow. yellow. Uh, the ones that we're using are in green, the ones that we're not using are in yellow. So, so that's what we can do with VPP. Pause here a little bit again to just kind of go through the summary of the capabilities we have. Again, we support all the constellations, all major constellations in the world, single multi-frequency. We have Qualcomm Assistant Services, which allows better uh, integrity, faster TTFF. We have VPP dead reckoning, and then we support precise positioning, both different service providers and different precise positioning engine providers. Uh, next comes up some of the partners that we work with, right? We have Trimble, and we also work with um, Alps Alpine. So Trimble, uh, I'll pause here for a second. Uh, so Trimble is our partner for precise positioning services and the precise positioning engine that goes into the modem. So when you buy a Qualcomm automotive modem, uh, Trimble's positioning capability is pre-integrated and validated. Very easy for you to um, invoke and use if you choose that. It's a premium offering, but if you choose to use that. And then we'll move on to Tabs Alpine, um, who has been combining our technology um, with their technology in a very unique way. So if we look over to the left here, we see we have a Qualcomm 5G modem with integrated CV2X and multi-frequency GNSS support. We also use corrections, could be from Trimble. We transfer this information over to another Snapdragon-based platform that is using uh, cameras for e-mirror so we can see through the car. And that's also demonstrated in one of the other demos here. Here they combine the solutions. We can do the VPP positioning together with e-mirror on a common platform. And this precise positioning can be used for a number of different applications, CV2X, ADAS and autonomy. So we can take a look at some of those right here. Um, in this case, we're using precise positioning from the vehicle that we're in and another vehicle to actually see the car non-line of sight. So the cars are communicating in CV2X, 
and we're able to identify it to the lane and we can display that in the e-mirror as an advanced blind spot detection. Um, and, and, and here they go through how we're bringing our solutions and their solutions into a solution they call the view pose. Uh, so one thing to remember is the position accuracy is not the only thing we care about. We also care about the pose, which is the orientation of vehicle in space. Very important for um, lane level navigation and for autonomous ADAS applications. We'll also see uh, a video here where we're driving in a parking garage and we can compare what the performance will be GNSS only with that reckoning versus vision enhanced precise positioning. So GNSS, not, not a good thing. You know, we, we're not able to provide very good positioning because we don't have any GNSS access. Dead reckoning does a decent job, but we have some error growing. And with VPP, it's close to perfect. We maintain accuracy coming out. We can navigate right away. So you, you see this benefit right here. Um, so we address the areas of deep urban, tunnels, parking garages, working together with Alps Alpine for the view, view post product. So I'm very pleased that you came by and stopped by to, to, to learn about what we're doing. Um, you can go to the Qualcomm websites and learn more uh, about um, this technology and all the other technologies that we're showing here at CES this year.